why college athletes should be paid. Um, college sports, um, this is a big question. This has been a controversial topic. And um, my purpose is to explain why college athletes should be paid and to point out those reasons. And um, college athletes should be paid for many reasons. Um, this goes half and half. Some people say that they agree, and some people say that they do not agree. And the NCAA states that um, college players should not be paid. And NCAA expert John Solomon proposed a survey to the public, and 69% said that college athletes should be paid. And many don't understand um, this controversial topic um, that's going on now. And college athletes actually provide a huge revenue boost to the universities. Um, top programs like that of Ohio State and Alabama bring a total revenue of $115 million, which is a lot. Um, and this provides that, why shouldn't the players be paid? Where's the money going? And things like that. But um, something that people don't know is that not all universities are the same. Um, different universities uh, produce different revenues, which smaller schools are not the same as top tier programs like Alabama and Ohio State. And the NCAA last year um, exceeded, almost exceeded $1 billion in revenue. Um, and they also received $1 billion just on the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. And Northwestern actually, um, they casted a secret ballot. And this is whether to form the nation's first um, college football union. And they had a secret ballot. And 19,000 students um, took place in this vote. And Kane Coulter, who is the Northwestern quarterback, stated that we're one step closer to a world where college athletes are not stuck with um, medical bills and do not um, lose their scholarships when they're injured. And they are given a better opportunity to complete their degree. And Michael Odom, who is a sophomore, he actually had to give up his um, give up football for Northwestern. He said that with all the time and effort that they put in, um, uh, this would not help him com um, complete his journalism degree. And the NCAA last year, their revenue was 187.1 million dollars, which is close to a billion. And the NCAA prohibits payments beyond educational scholarships. And according to Huffington Post, um, a media analyst suggested that college athletes should get more than just a $25,000 scholarship. Where's the money for the outside of school? And most of these players don't come from uh, big time families. They come from very poor environments and that's something that people don't uh, look at. And this is still an ongoing process, this college union. This is, um, some, some people say, some people don't even realize about this union or what's going on. But um, Donald Remney, who is the chief legal officer for the NCAA, states that college athletes are not employers. And with this union, um, this helps college football players be um, uh, technically employees. And the union will try to help student athletes into employers. And so far, with this union, um, private schools, uh, university students at private schools are technically considered employees. But outside of private schools, um, coll collegiate athletes are not employees. And being a student athlete is like a full-time job. Um, the Huffington Post stated that for uh, a College athlete um, per week uh, puts in 43.3 40, hours a week, which is three more than a, uh, a, a regular American during a job. And with the revenue the NCA and the universities make, college athletes deserve um, to be paid. Um, scholarship does not equal cash for a player, so some might think that a $25,000 scholarship is enough, but that's not. And ESPN actually did a survey of 92 coll uh, collegiate athletes, and um, 
Of those 92, uh, 60, 62 of those college players said that they uh, think they deserve to be paid. And um, I also have reasons from uh, Huffington Post. An editor explained that also not only does a, a student put a lot of time into their work and their craft, but although the NCAA claims collegiate athletes are just students, the NCAA's um, own tournament schedules requ uh, require collegiate athletes to revolve the tournaments around their classes and with school. So uh, students almost miss up to a month of schoolwork just from the NCAA basketball tournament um, for men's, which is a crazy amount of work. And um, that's why students should be employees too, because they have to revolve around tournaments and games, and a lot of people don't look at that aspect. And currently the NCAA Division I football championship is played on Monday night. And with that, they have to miss almost three weeks just of school, just for the NCAA tournament game. But obviously, that's not in um, uh, written down yet. We're not sure who's going to miss the uh, or who's going to make the national championship game. But that's one fact that people don't understand, and um, people don't understand the uh, the time and effort that they put in. And um, the NCAA is a huge money maker. It's eleven billion. And um, that's why college athletes should be paid. And, um, and college uh, universities as well, some coaches uh, disagree with this. Les Miles, for example, the LSU football coach, stated that um, college athletes should be paid. And other coaches say that uh, they don't want to get truly involved in this. But... Um, just from Northwestern's union standpoint, um, this is a huge move for collegiate athletes. Not many people are, are aware of what's going on and interested in this, but this is an ongoing movement. And um, I think Northwestern football players made a huge step in trying to unionize and make their first union for college football players, and it's long overdue. And all in all, I believe that um, if coaches, universities, and everyone is making all this money, why shouldn't college athletes make this money as well? What are things that you liked about Colin's speech? Show